All right, so the next gun uh, that's available in uh, my store, obsessedgaragestore.com, is the new SGS 28. Uh, this is from, from MTM. Uh, this came about because uh, I was, when I first launched the Mosmatic gun, it was impossible to get. I had hundreds of orders and just couldn't keep up with the demand, and so I was got into conversations with with, with MTM and, and I said, look, I mean, I, I find it hard to believe it's going to be really hard for you to, to make a gun or make a swivel. I mean, that's what Mosmatic does. I mean, they Swiss made stainless steel swivels. But if we could come up with something that was pretty good uh, and maybe come up with something that was a little less expensive uh, would be with, with an integrated swivel into the gun, I, I thought that that would be extremely useful. Uh, and so my stipulations were, let's do, I would like to have full and stainless in internals. I'd also like to have a uh, stainless inlet and outlet, uh, and then of course a stainless swivel. So then, then we could put the MTM fittings on the end. And so here's what we have. The other stipulation is that I, is that I wanted the smooth sort of linear trigger where it, you know, it, where it, it, it glides or easy pulls on, if you will, and then holds, holds easily in place. Uh, because their previous gun, the gun made in Italy called the SGS-35, the higher pressure version. Uh, one, they don't make it with the right fittings, and then secondly, the trigger is a different, it's a click-on trigger. Uh, so those are the stipulations, and we now have it. Uh, so this, these, this gun is, I think, a great solution if you're looking for something that's less expensive than the Mosmatic, but 80% you know, of the way there. Uh, so, you know, again, the trigger isn't quite as good, uh, it's not quite as sturdy, uh, and the swivel is not as good as the Mosmatic, but this is certainly acceptable. If the Mosmatic didn't exist, I would be perfectly comfortable with this. In fact, in, in many cases, some, some things like the plastic's a little bit nicer, it has stainless steel screws uh, holding it together so they won't corrode or rust, so really have a great solution. And so I sell this in the store as is, uh, and so this is, this is available. You could purchase it, so there's a drop down, you could purchase it with the quick disconnects, uh, and so you can purchase it just the gun only if you already know what setup you're gonna, we're gonna have. Uh, you could purchase the gun with the plug and the, and the MTM quarter inch quick disconnect, this coupler. Uh, in pre-installed Teflon tape, torque to spec. Uh, one thing we always do, which is one of my pet peeves, is we always make sure that the hex or the flat part of the bolts are always lined up. Uh, I don't know why that's important to me, but I admit it is. Same thing on the, on the, on the, on the ex exit as well. So you have the gun as an option. You also have the option to buy a complete package. So you can buy it with or without the uh, the the MTM uh, Hydro PF22. This is the best foam cannon on the planet right now. Uh, stainless plug uh, comes included, and so you can buy a complete package. So essentially, if you haven't seen videos about this, if it's your first time coming to the channel, or you're just now interested in the SGS28, uh, first thing. It's important to me, and this kind of goes against a lot of the rules of pressure washing, is you're not supposed to have quick disconnects because it hurts the flow. But in my argument for car washing, I've never had an issue. Uh, we're running lower pressures. This gun is rated for 4,000 plus PSI. It was at 4,060 PSI. Uh, so the gun is certainly sturdy enough, and there's tons of overhead over and above what we need. Uh, but I like to quick disconnect everything, and so you'll notice we have a quarter inch male to female connection for our Mosmatic wand. Uh, and, and so this is my beloved uh, full stainless steel from start to finish, including quick disconnect, stainless steel Mosmatic wand with hardened plastic. Uh, this would generally be designed so that you can hold on to the wand if it were hot. Of course, we don't have that issue, but I think it looks a lot cleaner that way, a lot nicer. Uh, and then we install, if you try to do this yourself, it's a nightmare. Uh, where the installing this, so installing, installing the quarter inch quick disconnect on the end while still being able to get the plug in place or, or the, I'm sorry, the, the protector in place is, is tricky. So operation will work very simply. You know, I have my, I have my, my gun. I can easily adapt my wand and my supplied uh, quarter inch uh, quick disconnected uh, 40 degree nozzle. I send the 40 degree because that's the safest for washing the car. 
So there's your, your 40 degree nozzle, quickly adapted. Let's say you were gonna wash the wheels. You simply pull this, set your wand aside, put your quick disconnect in, and now I have a shorty gun. So that's, an, that's another, another option. And then of course, I can quickly adapt over to my quick disconnected. Again, I put a stainless plug. These come with a zinc plated plug. I don't think that's good enough, so we swap that out and put the stainless plug in place our MT MPF 22. So there's our, there's what you would call a, a shorty gun option uh, for, for foaming, much more comfortable than putting it on the end of the wand like you see every picture on Instagram for some reason. They put this on the end of the wand. I don't like that. I like and prefer to have it set up like so. So that's the quick disconnected setup. Uh, if you buy the complete package, this comes with a twist and seal plug. So Krenzla, a lot of higher end pressure washers, a lot of your gas pressure washers will come with a standard M22 14 millimeter inlet. So the hole of the inlet of the, of the, of the, the twist and seal plug is 14 millimeters. And so if you had, imagine you had the end of your hose here, you would just simply take and screw this into your end, end of your hose and then you have a quick disconnect. We already have it Teflon taped and torqued. Uh, so you know, technically an M22 doesn't need Teflon tape. We put it on there anyway, just to be on the safe side. Uh, it'll protect the threads if, if, if anything. So there, there is some benefit to it. This part, uh, they, they make, there is a company that makes it in stainless steel. It's like $12. I find it largely unnecessary because this gets pretty much hidden and never gets disconnected. Uh, so I've, you do the, the regular, I think this is what, three or three or four, I forget what it is. It's either three or six dollars in the store, but it's relatively inexpensive compared to stainless. Whereas I think the coupler to have stainless is much more important. So this would screw onto the end of your hose and then that allows you to quickly adapt your gun and then have your entire setup you know, connected, if, you, if that makes sense to you. So there is also an option in the store. I don't want to get too confusing on this. So uh, again, you have the option to buy the gun separately. You can buy the entire package, the complete spray gun in one pack, spray, spray gun in one package. You have an option to add in the foam cannon. You also have an option to add, if you have an AR Blue Clean or a Sun Joe or some other, I think Greenworks, I think Ryobi, I think most of the inexpensive uh, electric pressure washers, they use a, a 15 millimeter instead of a 14 millimeter uh, sized inlet or out, I should say outlet from the hose. And so if you want to adapt my gun, uh, really nobody makes, this is the only adapter that I found. There are, there's, there's a male to female and a female to male. Uh, so this is a female 14 millimeter to male um, 15 millimeter, which would then screw into your Sun Joe hose. And so you can add this adapter for 10 bucks. It looks like stainless here, but it's not, it's aluminum. Uh, I found a company up in Michigan that imports these from Italy. Uh, they're not made by MTM, I don't know who they're made by, uh, but really they've only found one place on the planet that has it. And so you need this adapter, uh, which you can choose from the drop down in the store in order to make this work. So anyway, that's the SGS28. Uh, that's the options, the package options. I think it's pretty self-explanatory in the store. Uh, let's take it outside. I'll hook it up to my pressure washer and show you quickly how it works. Okay, so first thing you'll notice, my pressure washer is on and running, uh, so we have pressure to the gun. And just like most guns, if you if you, you know, if you don't have the trigger pulled, then you don't have any leak. So notice no leaks now. This is different. This is my really high-end on-wall Krenzel pressure washer that I have running through the boom pole. But the, the concept is the same. So here I have a 3 8 inch hose that goes to my 3 8 inch, inch coupler. If you have the Krenzel 1122 that you've gotten from me, the only difference is you would have the MTM. You would have that, that adapter, that M22 to, to 3 8 that little twist and seal plug. So I don't have that part here, but you know, you've got the same basic concept. Where I've got a coupler. Now that we're under pressure, you know, I can't quick disconnect this. You would have to disconnect it from the machine in order to, or, or turn the machine off. So I, my whole system is under load. And so right now, this coupler or this coupler isn't, isn't quick disconnected. Notice also when you're under pressure, there's no play. So when you first put your wand on and there's no pressure in the wand, you'll get some play. But as soon as I start operation, it locks up nice and tight. 
So if you get this and you get concerned like, oh man, there's play in here, well, they're supposed to be. And then as soon as you put it under pressure, all that play goes away. So the basic concept here is I have my wand. I can switch back and forth from wand or 20 inch extended to right here to wash my wheels. And so notice there is, it's, there's still an instant on, but the trigger is very smooth. I'm telling you, if I went out and got the SGS 35 out, you would hear a click or a clack. Uh, this is much smoother operation than, than the other. And so then I can switch from washing wheels or a shorty gun right to my full version and I'm washing again. So great option for us for, for pressure washing. And then the beauty of it is the swivel. So if you haven't used a, a gun like this before, or you haven't dealt with a pressure washer hose, uh, they tend to bind up. You know, there's metal in typically braided, these are typically braided lines in order to protect from the, from the pressure. And so as you're walking around your car, this will get all tangled up, you'll be fighting with it the whole time. So having the swivel allows the, the hose to stay loose. Uh, and so it makes a world of difference, I'm telling you. To have the swivel and to have it integrated into the gun is a really, really great option. Because if you take this out of the gun, you know, we're losing a good half an inch to inch of, of extra travel or extra parts and pieces in between the end of the hose and the, and the inlets of the gun. So that puts us as, at an advantage. I just think it's a much better way to do it. Uh, the pressure washing industry has kind of battled this whole idea that, well, no one will pay for a stainless steel, a swivel integrated gun. Well, I've proven that wrong. And so, you know, us, maybe it's just us DIY guys are stupid or something with our money, but uh, I love this idea. Uh, my guess that the only disadvantage would be if this breaks, you'd probably have to replace the gun uh, and, or that swivel portion would be more expensive. But uh, I've been, you know, I, I've been, never had one of these fail. I've always ended up replacing them. I have five cars and so I do quite a bit of washing uh, and, you know, I'm dealing with a pretty high output pressure washing system here at uh, 2000 PSI and 2.8 gallons per minute. And the pressure doesn't matter as much as the flow. So the, the 2.8 gallons per minute, I'm moving some water through this sucker. So that's the SGS 28, full stainless, stainless built-in swivel, really viable option, saves you, you know, 45 bucks versus the Mosmatic solution. Again, I believe the Mosmatic solution is better, but this is an awesome solution for those of you who don't want to go all the way to the highest end option. This is a really great option. I don't think that you'll, you'll be disappointed. Anyway, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more, uh, more cool stuff that I'm obsessing over in the garage. So what happens when the, when the force pulls you back, your foot naturally comes off the gas. You have to keep your foot to the floor.